All right, we're going to do some shell milling and show you how this is done. Thing about these shells is when you get them in your vise, it warps them a bit. We don't have to be perfect because we're going to cover up all this with other details, but we want to get you know as much. We're going to remove this. The air filter right here we're going to remove the exhaust and we'll see this gets too long we're going to remove this and let's just see how it goes so what i've got in here is a four flutes mill this is a small one it's good enough for this purpose we're going to try to get it kind of smoothed off here remove some of these details using a milling machine. Now I know most of you don't have a milling machine. Um, if you're going to do this, you're going to be doing it using files and exacto blades. And it's going to take time. But it can be done. The old school way, the way I've done them in the past before I had this machine, was exacto blades and files. And that's how we used to do it. I'm going to show you how, how we can do it now. So we'll start with this. We'll start with the air filter. Let's uh, let's get the air line. I got some wood blocks in here to hold it, so I get as little warping as possible. I get down here. I'm just going to touch off. All right. And then, let's see if I'm scraping it a little bit. Yep, I'm scraping it just a little. So now we're going to lock it in to the... On the milling machine, you lock in the bits. You can use a dial up top that is graduated in thousandths of an inch. And... Okay, so that's about just barely touching up. All right, we're going to start slow. Okay, we're going to start slow. Let's just see where we're at. Yeah, we're just making, it's called making chips. Making a little bit of chips here. Okay, it's about where we want to be. Give it a little more speed. It's going to get loud. This is a clutch mill. I got it Northern Tool. It's a bit of an investment. But, uh, yeah, that's great for this kind of stuff. It's definitely easier and faster than doing it the old way. And if you, you, know, you don't remove too much material at a time, you don't melt anything. I don't need an entirely flat surface when I'm done because I'm going to put a detail here It's going to cover up any flaws. I'm trying to make, this is not the right tool to make it perfect anyway. This tool does, gets me right in the ballpark of what I want to use. So now I got a lot of chips, so I'm going to go ahead and use the shop back. Looking pretty good on this one. The faster the speed, the smoother your surface will be. The 
you know, if we're going to put lift things on here, we're going to put them on here. So you can get rid of them. Now that ain't terrible. I think we just take a little bit. Just barely a thousand. Get that. Go back and forth here until we find the right spot. I'm going up a half a thousand. Okay, that's well, looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and smooth this out again. You're going to see the outline because when this was made, and your filter is a, it's like a bubble. You can see in the middle here, that part could just get more than out of there. But if it's smooth across, you just need it. I don't know. We're going to cover it up. Now, I'm not sure that that is... That's how we're going to do this whole thing. Bring it up. right there I consider good enough good enough close enough that's all we need